morning. America, I guess. Good morning to my vlog for Light in the Piazza. Um, I have wanted to start a YouTube channel, mainly a vlog for shows for, I don't know, a year now. And I just never got around to it. I've always loved editing and video and watching YouTube. And there's a severe lack of backstage vlogs showing you what's happening with the cast and what they think about the show and what their favorite parts are and their favorite parts of their character that you might not even notice from on stage and the camaraderie behind stage. No matter what, there's a show going on on the stage, but there's also a show going on behind the stage. Hopefully for this show, I work props again. Um, I did it for Sister Act and it was marvelous. It was an organizer's dream. Um, last night I was up until 3 in the morning because I was just buzzing about this vlog. I, I've wanted to do it for a while now and I'm just so jazzed that I have the opportunity to do it. I'm at the college right now. I'm on my way to my women's self-defense class. Today is the last day, sadly. I wish there was a million days. I wish I could go to it every day, but sadly... Today's our last day, but we are having an aggressor come in and I will tell you about it. I hope I get to go, but I was kind of sick yesterday, so she might not have me go, but I'm excited, so. I wasn't gonna record right now, but there's literally just a gaggle of middle school children they look like eighth graders I don't know what's happening but the McCallum's over there there's a bunch of school buses but these don't look like kids that are coming from the McCallum they look like they're just walking around uh, and I can't leave until they leave because I don't want to run over any children because I don't know if you know this but running over children isn't good our aggressor didn't attack us today because he hurt his back but uh, Miss Ansley, our amazing self-defense and yoga teacher here, stepped in, put on the pads, and was the aggressor. It was phenomenal, you guys. She went more aggressive than any male aggressor that I've personally ever seen. She wanted to make sure we were safe in the most dangerous of situations to make sure that in simple ones, we can handle it. It makes me almost giddy that the small person that I am, I can take on somebody much bigger than me and stronger than me and his arms a little bit longer than me uh makes me feel powerful i don't know so i'm on the way home probably gonna listen to a podcast or something in the car like a, the lame weird 60 year old 17 year old that i am i realized when i was watching the other clip back that i didn't look into the camera I was just looking at myself on the screen or looking off into the distance so I'm gonna try my best to improve upon that I want to get a better camera currently I'm filming on my phone yuck I want to get better editing software I, I just want to improve myself self-improvement 2018 Whoop, whoop. There is a girl in the car next to me, completely staring at me. I can feel it. She thinks I'm a weird girl. I'm just sitting here in my car recording myself and, you know, whatever. Right, well, I'm gonna drive home. I thought I was gonna absolutely love this outfit, but I hated it. I forgot that sleeves exist. So I had to think on the spot to cover up these awful sleeves. I'm just so dumb, I hate myself. I don't think things through. Now I'm gonna be late, ugh. So I threw on my nice white sweater that I got from Target. It's actually gotten pretty itchy in the wash, so I haven't been wearing it as much. Love it. And sometimes it gets hot in the dance studio, so I decided to go with a flannel. 
This flannel is one that I stole from my dad. I don't know where he got it, but I love it so much. It's lightweight, it's not too hot, and it's easy to carry around. Dance, 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 dance. And put on your socks and run to rehearsal so that David doesn't punch you in the face. decently high pain tolerance but boy this is trash <sighs> but I'll keep you guys updated um our stage manager Hannah love her she's gonna be a great stage manager I'm so excited to work with her has asked me to be props manager for the show which as you guys know I'm very excited about I loved it when I did it last time for sister act it's just every Virgo's dream. I'm just in charge of organizing, keeping stuff organized and keeping people in check, not breaking things and being the savior of all things, things that you hold or use. It's, it's a good time. Hopefully I don't have to cut off my leg because I kind of need it just a little. 